Hello everybody, it's Len. How are you all doing? Today I'm back with another easy, chill back, laid back video because I am still on holiday so I made a bunch of little videos for you to appreciate while I'm gone. And if you really really miss me don't forget to check out my Instagram where I'll be posting a little previews and sneak peeks from my trip. I'll be back with a ton of exciting footage that I'll make into videos for you to have fun and enjoy. Here I am with another little questions let's get to know each other video a tag type of video except I kind of came up with my own questions this time so I hope you'll understand them. I hope it'll be fun. I definitely had fun thinking them through and thinking of a theme. So let me explain this to you right now. This is a, if I were to have more, tag video. So you know how sometimes you're just sitting there and you're like, oh, I wish I had more of this or that or something and you're just feeling unhappy with yourself. Well, I'm trying the reverse of this today. I'm gonna put myself in that situation if I had more of that certain something and see what is the first thing that pops into my mind? How I see myself? What is that thing that I want most? You know what? It's a little hard to explain just like that. So if that didn't make sense, just wait and see until I get into my questions. I've divided things into categories which are quite general like love, money, and health, and things like that. But also little under categories which are a little more materialistic. Anyway, you'll see. I kind of suck at explaining things. I'm going to dive right in and ask myself one of the first big questions which is if I were to have have more health. Now I feel pretty healthy already, but if I were to have more health, I would put it towards my brain, my brain health, my mind health. I would want to feel more balanced, more lucid, maybe less tired. And if I were to have more health, I think I would work faster and be more productive and you know, have a better schedule and be better at time management and just do things, you know? I think I'd just be faster and more determined and that sounds really good. So yes, yes to more health. Definitely. If I were to have more love, I think I would be a more giving person. Not that I don't give a lot, but I know is that when you feel loved by others and by yourself, you are nicer to other people. So I definitely think that if I were to receive more love, like bigger doses of love, I would probably be more friendlier. I would smile more. I try my best to smile already, but I, I would definitely find it easier. You know, love makes you feel all light and bubbly and fuzzy. And I'm not only talking about, you know, love that you feel with a partner and a loved one, maybe like love for the family love for life, love for little things. If I were to channel all the love I have in my life and just, you know, like double it or something, I do think that everything would be brighter and I would smile more and maybe be more a little more bubbly and I, and I would have less broody moments and I would give more, I would talk to people more, I would reach out to people more, if you know what I mean. If I were to have more food in my life, oh my goodness, if I were to have more food Food, like my cupboards and my fridge would constantly be filled with wonderful ingredients and have tons of new exciting spices. I would bake, I would cook, I would discover new recipes, I would try a totally vegan diet, you know, like try vegan cheese, I would try to make that. And I would try all these really exciting extravagant recipes that you see in books and you're like, god there are 100 ingredients in there, I cannot afford that. If I had more food i would you know like i would try something different all the time i would love that i would be baking and cooking and get really good at things and my home would constantly smell of wonderful things and i'd invite people over and yes yes definitely yes to more food next i wrote if i were to have more money everybody could use more money right i don't know everybody's after money but but I really had to ask myself, what is the one thing I could really use right now? And if I were to have more money on a regular basis in my life, I would move apartment. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this flat. This is my first flat. I've been there for many, many years. I've created great memories in this flat. There are a lot of, lot of positive things about this flat. But the things that are negative and do not work out for me are too important for me to ignore. Like it gets really intensely unbearably cold in the winter. My toes, I'm not kidding you, my toes turn blue. And it makes it hard for me to even hold a pencil sometimes because my hand is so cold and I'm an artist and I want to draw. So the the bad things are are really bad. So. I would love to move into an apartment that is more suitable for me. Obviously, I would like most of the things that money can get you, but my number one would be an apartment suited to my own needs, my own lifestyle. So this might seem a bit random, but I started writing down a few things that I've noticed that I'm kind of missing in my day-to-day -day life. Not like 
important things that are kind of a luxury but I have found myself wondering like mm, I could really use some more of that so if I were to have more makeup I know really random if I were to have more makeup if you've watched most of my makeup look videos that I do now and then, you've noticed that I never ever have the right shade of lipstick. And I'm always trying to create a new shade, mixing a few colors. I have no good quality lipstick. I can't wear the shades I create for myself because they just dry up my lips. They're just good for on video. So if I were to have more makeup, oh my goodness, I would definitely, even though I have a great undying love for eyeshadow, I would have to splurge on some lipsticks, lip tints, liquid lipsticks, all that jazz. Good quality, non-drying, cruelty-free lipsticks. I know it's really random. That would definitely bring my makeup game to a new level and I have been kind of craving that. So if I, if I were to have more makeup, I would have to go for lipsticks. Oh, and makeup brushes. But I kind of manage with the ones I have, so... Yeah, answer, I'm sticking to lipstick. If I were to have more space, again, like I mentioned, I'm writing things down that I've noticed in my day-to-day -day life. I live in a flat, everything is in one room except for the kitchen and the bathroom. And yeah, sure, it's fine, but I do crave some space. And if I were to have more space, I would love, love, love to have a separate bedroom. And I would love to have an office area where I'd have my computer and all my art supplies so it'd be a little in-home art studio and I would just definitely definitely love that it would be the dream obviously I do also dream to have a walk-in closet like Carrie Bradshaw off of Sex in the City but the ultimate ultimate dream would be the little art room in my apartment that would be really nice with all my art supplies and I have more opportunities to take up new things like oil painting without having the fear of my bedroom smelling like chemicals so things like that yes if I were to have more space, I would definitely enjoy having a separated living area with an art room. Sounds good. Sounds amazing. Yes to that. If I were to have more art supplies, now that is so hard for me to answer. Because when I go into an art store, I just want to get everything. Everything becomes a possibility. Everything becomes an opportunity. Paints, sure. Want to start a pottery? Yeah, why not? I want to, I want to start pottery. I'm interested in pottery. I'm interested in this and that. I cannot stay put with one medium i want to try everything that's just me but i thought this through and at the moment i really enjoy colored pencils and i would love to have a big box with a lot of colors like professional level colored pencil that sounds really amazing and i would be able to put it in my little art room slash studio thingamabob yes Definitely. I'm saying this now, but maybe next week I'll ask myself the same question and I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of acrylic paints. So, depends on my mood, I guess, but yeah. For now, I'm answering colored pencils. And finally, I asked myself if I were to have more pets. Now, I grew up in the countryside, I've had a bunch of pets. You might not count things like ducks and geese as pets, but they were, they were the family pets. And right now in my flat, I have my cat, which you can see behind me sleeping, always next to me, always with me. His name is Patchy, and he enjoys being a single child quite a lot. He's always next to me, always keeping me company, and he is quite the attention hog, if I might say so. But when I see myself in my brand new, spacious, luminous apartment with my art room and my separate bedroom, <laughs> I do imagine myself getting a little brother or a little sister for Patchy, and I think he might actually even appreciate it if he's sharing a wider space with another cat. One extra pet is enough i don't want to make things too difficult for myself but yeah if i were to have more pets i would have patchy and another cat and that would be really cute i think that keep each other company it would could work out or it could just go terribly wrong and i'd have to separate them all the time i don't know i'm curious but that would have to wait until i get into my spacious apartment with the art studio with the healthy fast brain and my love filled life and my kitchen filled food and the money for the apartment and my extensive lipstick and makeup collection and my art supplies and yes my pets <laughs> this was kind of a weird tag but i really enjoyed doing it it kind of makes me excited for the future all the possibilities i like imagine myself in the best conditions i just feel like i'm bringing it in and i see what's possible and what i can create for myself and it just makes me really happy so i suggest you try this for yourself and let me know what you think Thought. What are things that are missing from your life? And instead of focusing on not having them, imagine yourself having it and how it makes you feel. 
Yeah, really, I want to know. I want to know if it works out for you. It just gets me in a really good mood doing this. It's kind of a visualization process. If you've read a bit on the law of attraction, it might ring a bell. But yeah, it just it just puts you in a good mood. Even if you don't really believe in that kind of thing, it just it just makes you positive. Anyway, I invite you to try this and tell me what you thought. I would like to tag a YouTuber. I don't know how this works. I've never tagged anyone on YouTube before as I am a little YouTuber, so I don't really know anybody yet, but I would like to see Simply Nay answer these questions because she is all about the law of attraction. So I would actually be really interested to see someone that committed to visualizing and positive vibrations try this out and I'd be interested to hear her answers. So if I do manage to reach out to Simply Nay, I would like to see her answer these questions in a video. Maybe at my level it's David asking Goliath to do something, but yep, if you don't try, you'll never know. So yes, Simply Nay, I'm tagging you. If you were to do this little exercise, I'd be very interested to watch your video. Okay, that's enough of that for now. Hope you know this little quirky video. I'll see you all very soon in another video, and don't forget, I L word you all. Bye guys.